You never told me that you are so tall. And you never told me you are so short. What are you thinking? How's, how's the atmosphere going to be there with, uh, with Bufflin and, and Lad hitting the ice again? It's going to be electric. I think uh, Buff's welcome is going to be unbelievable. Uh, we miss Buff. However, Hawks still rule, and uh, I think Buff will do great, so will Lad. Jets go! Go 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 Jets go! It's just like an outpouring, like it's like something was bottled up for 15 years and then just exploded. And like even during the summer when it was announced and stuff like that, it hadn't really hit because for some it still wasn't real until they dropped the puck for the first time and now it's just exploded. When I reached England, I was told that I was to become a flying instructor. And I was sent up to Montrose in Scotland, where I flew twin Oxfords and became an instructor, and then sent to the Royal Air Force College at Cranwell. Now, one of my pupils was Eric Williams, who was an escape POW. Now it's a lot easier connect, to connect to athletes because you can have the Twitter, you can have the blogs, you can have all that. You know what they're thinking, what they're feeling. But back in the day when I started, I had to use you know, videotapes and magazines. When I started gymnastics, instantly it clicked. I did tons of other sports. I played t-ball. It was so boring to me. I'd like stand out there and pee my pants because I, literally there was nothing better to do. And I played hockey, I did swimming, I did all the different sports, but gymnastics was really the one that clicked for me. And...